Hi, my name is Camelia Akami Keys, but please call me Cami. Today, we are gonna talk about how to work on independence between your right hand, your left hand, your right foot, your left foot. How do we separate them? How do we make what we're playing sound effortless, even though it's very complicated? I've spent several years working on limb separation, especially with my left foot. I wanted my left foot to be able to go between a wood block and a hi-hat. Or a kibasa, a foot kibasa, and a hi-hat. So if you're moving your foot, you're gonna have to be counting a lot. Counting is a very big part of being a drummer, a big part of being a musician. So we're gonna dive deep into this topic on how to count how to isolate, how to work on these uh, patterns, these exercises, these rhythms. So when you put them out and you start playing them to music, they sound super easy and they sound really, really good. The first thing we're gonna work on is how to go back and forth between your hi-hat and your woodblock or hi-hat cowbell or even hi-hat, hi-hat, but get in the process of moving that left foot back and forth. So we're gonna be counting eighth notes, but we're gonna be playing quarter notes. So we're gonna be going hi-hat, wood block. One, two, three, four. Let's dive into it. So right here, I'm going back and forth between the hi-hat and the wood block, but I'm subdividing eighth notes. So you see my leg like pulsing one and two and three and four and that's how I'm keeping the separation and the time in mind while I'm moving back and forth. So here is my left foot on the wood block pedal and okay so what I'm doing is I'm going one and two and three and four and so you see how I'm, I'm subdividing eighth notes, and you'll see a lot of people, a lot of drummers will do this when they're doing, when they're playing drums. They, they may not actually be moving um, the hi-hat or whatever they're playing, but they're, this is where they're keeping their time. One and two and three and four and one and two. So when you wanna go back and forth between a wood block and a hi-hat or a wood block, say I go one, two, three, Four and so I'm playing the one and I'm pulsing the end. One and two and three and four and one. you hit one, you pulse one. One and two and three and So you may be able to notice that I'm using more so of the ball of my foot and that is how I'm able to get the consistent sound. This is a clip of me going back and forth between my hi-hat and wood block. I want you guys to focus on just this part alone and get it to the point where you don't have to think about it so when you start piling on the other layers of this groove, you'll be really solid with one limb. That's the most important thing of working on independence is when you add another layer, your first layer is not affected. So I spent hours just playing my wood block and my hi-hat. After I got that and I felt good, I would try to add in the bass drum part. So that's the next thing we're gonna work on is after you get this wood block and hi-hat part, you add in the bass drum.
it's very important to practice this slow and with a metronome. Um, it's really important to make sure you're comfortable with this before you start adding extra layers. Um, sometimes I would try and, you know, put the snare drum in, play 16th notes on top of what I'm playing with my feet. So you just want to make sure your foundation is very strong before you add anything. Once you have the foot pattern down, the next step is to add your hands in there, whether you do triplets, 16th notes, different types of rudiments. It's really up to you how creative you want to be. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm going to answer some questions people have asked me on different lives on Instagram and stuff. Hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless. How much of your time is dedicated to practice time compared to free play? Um, that's a really good question. Uh, I would say more so when I was younger, I had really like dedicated specific time to work on rudiments. It was usually at night when I was like about to go to sleep and I was just like, okay, I've had fun on drum set all day. Now it's really time for me to work on finger technique and all these things that are really important. Um, and at the time I didn't know this, but right before you go to sleep, if you work on concepts or anything, reading, it helps you, um, retain that information better so uh not even knowing it i was digging in and, and falling asleep like practicing rudiments and stuff and working on my finger technique that that's probably how it was able to get solidified pretty quickly so um yeah currently though when i come outside i've usually already thought about what i want to create or what i want to play or a song that i want to write and now when i go in it's usually to like play my uh, independence with the tomb bow and sometimes like I'm hearing like a more almost like out there pattern over top of it like completely separating my limbs uh, doing my own creative style of double bass so working on that um, get digging into the hybrid rudiments um, which I kind of already do but I didn't know I was doing so some of the rudiments I play or some of the things I play are hybrid rudiments not knowing so that's kind of the stuff I'm working on now. Uh, but yeah, it's just, a, it's a progress. It's a journey. So just constantly um, learning and growing and evolving, you know. Um, cool. Let's see. I'm still a beginner drummer and my goal is to get better at it and start my band one day. That's from Drummer Boy Ashwin. Do it. Yeah, if you have... So that's one thing I'm really um, passionate, big on, is like if you have a goal, if you have a vision, like just set your plan and go for it. And don't get discouraged in the process. Like you just, no matter if it looks like it's not going to happen or your goal is not going to come true, you have to stay persistent and believe that it is. Now that's where like the true test comes in. It's like, oh man, I didn't get the gig or I didn't get this or maybe, you know, does that mean I should give up? No, like if you really want it, you're gonna stay consistent. And through your consistency, you're gonna be able to see the results. It may take years. Like, I've been playing drums for a very long time and I'm still working, I'm still growing. So you, the, the, you have to fall in love with the, the process, the journey. So that's, the, that's supposed to be the fun part, you know? No one wants to hear a story about someone who just woke up and they were just amazing. You know, it's just like, I want to hear about the struggle, the learning, the growth, all the things that really make a good story. You know, and that's everyone's life. Ups and downs, hills and valleys. So, yeah, that's my two cents.
Hi, my name is Camelia Akami Keys, and I'm playing the Tama Star Babinga drum set. This drum kit sounds amazing. It looks amazing. It was handmade in Japan, and it really just sets itself apart from any other drum set on the market. Toms speak so well. These drums have uh, expression, they have voice. There is personality to this kit. Music is the universal language, and I quickly learned that while I was serving in the United States Navy. We could not speak the same language, but put a smile on someone's face by playing the drums. I make music to spread joy.